Millions of cars are recycled every single year and we're going to show you is it worth us taking out the copper loom from the cars and how much it's worth. Stay tuned. Right, so the machine we use to remove the wire, this actual machine is a Doosan DX225 with car dismantling attachments uh, on it. We use this to process all the cars. Not only the wire, we do take all the axles off, number one, aluminium, engines, a lot of other bits. It's ultimate separation, really. But we're going to mainly be focusing on the wire. This is uh, four weeks worth of wire, what we've removed with the machine. All the plastic and all the big clumps of fuse boxes have been removed also. There is still little bits of plugs on it and that will be classed as pluggy loom. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we do that. The car I'm going to be using is a Mark V Golf. What I've done with this car, it's been fully depolluted. We've removed all the axles and number one. We've removed the engine and gearbox and the radiator. So the only thing left to do with this car now will be remove the dashboard and take the chunk of wire out, which I will show you. There's also a little bit of wire under the bonnet the sills and the inner kick panels you can it depends how far you really want to go and how much time you want to spend on it roughly we probably only spend two minutes maximum pulling the wire out right so pluggy loom will be classed as loom like this with plugs on these you, you can't really take these off you, the only way to do that would be manually cutting them off by hand and obviously it would it wouldn't be effective it'd be too time consuming and cost effective so this will be classed as pluggy loom. Anything bigger than your fist ideally wants removing. So as you can see, this has all been processed, ready to go. On the attachment, we've got these bolted on. It's like, it's basically like a giant fork of different sizes. Now, what we do when we have the wire in the attachment, depending on the size of the fuse boxes, we'll run it through these forks to remove any big fuse boxes or plugs or ECUs or anything what's attached to the wire. Once we've done that, it's, uh, it's reducing the plastic waste on the loom. So I'm going to show you these being used in removing the wire. One million and twenty thousand cars were scrapped in 2023. The Ford Focus was the most scrapped car in the UK last year, with 42,637 examples going to scrapyards. The Vauxhall Astra, 35,578 of these were scrapped. In third place was the Vauxhall Corsa, 34,405. In fourth place, Ford Fiesta, 32,935. And in last place was the Vauxhall Zafira, of Right, so as I've just shown you then, this is the wire in wiring loom which I've just removed from the cars. Now I have ran it through the, uh, the forks on the machine and took any big plugs off and bits of plastic. So the next thing to do is I'm going to weigh this loom 
and then we can find out how much it's worth and the current value on today's market and is it worth taking the wire out the cars i would probably say that i've removed 70 percent of the wire you could spend more time peeling the roof back and doing the sills and doing the boot but then you're also destroying the car as you can see it has made a bit of a mess of it uh, so the most cost effective way is probably just hit the dash under the bonnet a bit off the engine and any bits you can see it's all time as well right so i've got a cardboard box here i'm gonna put the wire in it we're gonna set the scales to zero and then find out how much copper loom is in this box. It's actually quite a lot. All these little bits, pennies, these. Ooh. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna push for 10, I reckon 10. Right, let's go and find out. Right. right, we've just brought these scales because our digital ones are currently being used. So I'm going to test if these are accurate. How much do you reckon I weigh? Fully laden. Fully laden. With my phone in my pocket. Right, 15.8. Shut up. But right, we'll put it in a uh, stone. Stone, what do you weigh, Chris, when you get on? I bet you're 16 and a half. Fully dressed like this, I'm about 17. 16 and a half? 16 and a half, fully dressed as well. Got extra jumpers on and everything oh that little chestnut come on what, you what do you reckon i am i, I know what i, I am. reckon about 15 8. i think you're bang on look at 15 that. 8 on the dot lads wow so that in that. what do you mean wow you get on it in like kg on about 199. yeah so the scales work it's gone wait about same as you. John's about eight stone wet through, John. 13.2. Oh, sorry, lad. Why are you tensing looking at Chris? <laughs> We're going to measure it now, the weight. Make sure the box isn't touching anything. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, there's not even that much weight. No, but I think it's touching this side here. Oh, we need a smaller box. Get every bit in, lad. There's two bits there. Get them in. One of an ounce, Money, that's what it is. Yeah, oh, well, there's not. I thought there'd be more 8 than that. 8.2. 8.2 kg. Damn it. I thought there'd be more. Yeah, I did. And that's a golf as well. So it's eight, minus the box, it's eight, isn't it? The box. I probably, I wouldn't say the box is 200 grams. No. I'd say 100 for the box. Yeah. Do I bet well, less? Should we say yes? Uh, what are we saying, 8.2? 8.15 Damn it, I'm not happy with that I do feel like I could have got more though Not more, but I feel some No, that was, no, it was average, yeah, that's average Right, 8.2 yeah, Right, get bad. them scales, John Right, that's it, I'm Right, playing. so 8.2 kg we've removed from that car Tell us if you think that's good or bad I think it's So we've got the Golf Mark 5 loom here What I've pulled out with the machine I'm going to add that to the pile And then we can send this all off see how much weight was in there and how much money and find out is it really worth taking the loom out right so as you've seen we've weighed the wire what we pulled from the uh, mark 5 golf we put it into the pile which is now going today the uh, haulage company is on his way to collect it now i'm going to be transferring this from the eight yarder into a 20 yarder doing a weight and load and then we can find out how much weight is in the whole skip and then we'll do some calculations and work out the price on the wire and how much on average we get per car. You all right? Yeah. Wait and load. Yeah, yeah, just back down to the wire in that eight yard and I'll just transfer it over. All right. Aidy the driver is actually a subscriber. Unbelievable, really. Right, anyway, we're going to uh, get this wire transferred and we're going to uh, switch, between the, uh, switch between the attachment on the machine and the drone so enjoy
Right, so we've finished loading the bin now. I'm just going to hand pick all the loose little ends, get that extra bit of weight in there. And then uh, we should be able to find the weight out and do the calculations and find out if it is worth taking the wiring loom out. Right, so we've taken all the wire out, weighed it, fired some figures out and stats of the cars that have been scrapped. And now is the important bit. We're going to be working out how much money was in the uh, Mark V Golf we took the wire out of. So we got 8.2 kg. 0.2 kg. So we got 8.2 kg worth of loom out of the Golf. So 1 kg is around £2,500 in today's market. Uh, one, one ton, not one kg. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah imagine if one kg. Yeah. So a ton of wire in today's market is around £2,500. So one kg would be £2.50. 10 kg would be £25. 8.2 kg would be £20.50. £20.50 off the one car. So on an average day for us at the moment, we are getting 20 cars a day. And I do believe the, I do believe I could have got not more from the Golf, but I would say it's closer to 10 kg personally, but we're gonna run off the 8.2 kg. So 20 cars a day uh, times by 8.2 kg. So basically we need to times that by 20. 410 pounds a day in copper loom and that's as loom if we actually went on to then granulate it the clean bright copper i'm not even sure what that is today what is it let me find out the the dry bright wire price today is seven around seven thousand pounds a ton uh, let me, right, I'm gonna work this out. So we're saying 60% of the loom is copper, 40% is plastic. Of our wire, what we got from the Golf, 8.2 kg of loom, five kg of that was copper. So if we granulated the wire from the, from the Golf, granulated would have been 32 pounds a car on average. But I do think it could be slightly more, but took off with the machine, granulated would have been £32. So if we then did 32 times by 20, granulated 640 a day, if we was granulating our own loom and getting rid of the plastic waste. So unfortunately today we're not granulating, but it's something to think about. But yeah, I think we've established that the wire is worth taking out. We are doing it all by machine. If you're dismantling cars by hand, which we also do, you'll find you can get more than 8.2 kg out. This is just with a machine and about five minutes. So if you are stripping a car, you're dropping the engine, just pull your wire out, put it in a ton bag, and you've got a nice little crispy juicy Christmas bonus. I hope my little explanation helped out a little bit on the uh, value of the loom. Uh, it definitely is worth taking out because you're not really taking any weight off the car anyway. And to be honest, it's not that hard work and there is high value in it. Definitely, I would say if you're stripping a car by hand and dismantling, you'll definitely be able to get £30 worth of loom out of each car, for sure. So take your wire out, boys, and value it. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Something a little bit different. Trying to get a few more factual videos out and extra videos. Let us know in the comments what you thought and uh, what else you want to see. Maybe the ins and outs of the business, how it runs, different departments. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and get involved. Right, you need to stop staring at me, pal. <laughs> now I'm joking. See ya.